Welcome to Everyday Mechanic, keeping things simple. Welcome to another episode of Everyday Mechanic. Today I'm going to show you how to do your window up if you've got electric windows, especially the driver's side switch because you've only got one switch for the driver's window. The passenger window you've got two switches, you've got one here and one over there. But when the switch goes and you, your window can't be done up, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it the easy way. Um, most cars are canvas. So this is the safest way to do it because you don't want to be using wires, like jumper wires. Uh, you could spike the control module for the doors, electric windows, etc. Central locking, um, which is bad news. So we don't want to do that. So we're going to do it the safest way possible using a test light, incandescent test light, which is basically a bulb in series. And if you don't have a test light, you can always make one. So normal vehicle bulb. With a wire going to a negative part of the chassis, and the other end of your wire is your test light, basically. So you can make your own test light if you want, um, and yeah, that'll work just as good as this. But just be careful, nothing touches. So, on this Ford Focus, we're going to go to the ignition, put the ignition switch to on, so all the modules are powered up. We're going to access the bottom of the switch pack here. So on this Ford Focus, you just pull this button panel off, and under here you got a, a multi-plug connector, which undo that, and this is what we want to attack, this thing. Now, if you notice the windows won't go off, because the switch is broke, we're going to stick one end of our test light to a, a chassis negative. Now, these pinholes are quite small. So we don't want to be jamming big stuff in there or um, yeah, forcing anything in there that's you only need to touch them really. So what we're gonna do is we need just a little pin, maybe something like that, on the end of our test light. And we're just gonna to touch each individual. See, that was the one to go down. So I'm assuming this one will be the one to go up. There we go. Easy way to do it. And you're not going to spike or damage anything because you're using a test light. So if you get the polarities wrong or you're sending a positive, a negative to somewhere you shouldn't be sending a, ne a negative, it will just light the bulb up instead of blowing something. And you don't want to be using jumper wires. That's just dangerous. And it, you're definitely going to break something doing that. Um, and back to the bulb. <coughs> this is one we made just to give you an idea of how you can do it. If you don't have a test light to hand and you're in an emergency situation, you need to get your window sorted. Same thing again. We've done into there, and we can use this. Because what what this switch is doing, when you press this switch down or off, or like any of these, you're sending a negative. It's looking for a negative, so it's like a pull down system. And that's exactly what the module's looking for. So when you press down on this, it puts a negative to one of the wires, which that's what our test light's doing. It's sending negative from here through a ball to the end of this, which will operate the, the window motor. Um, and it's as easy as that, really. But as I say, make sure you use a test light because it's the easiest way to do it, and it's, you're not going to damage nothing. Keep saying, yeah. Um, yeah, as easy as that. If you like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, um, press the notification bell, um, hit the like button, which helps us out quite a lot. Uh, if you got something from this video, cool. If there's anything I can do to improve it, or if you like help with anything, just uh, leave me a comment and let me know. Um, keep it simple. <laughs> If you got anything from these videos, then don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Also, hit the notification button so more videos coming up soon, and you'll be notified when they come.